my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amara and I am a yoga teacher currently based in Dubai. And welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I think you can kind of tell within my voice that I'm a little bit excited for this week's weekly vlog because I'm feeling the most sort of myself that I felt in a while and I am just feeling in a really good vibe. I've had a really lovely morning routine as you will have seen and I'm just feeling like it's going to be a good week. I feel like I'm starting a new cycle. It feels good. Um, maybe not a really big news cycle, but it's also my birthday week. So I think that that's also adding to it. Saying that it does not feel like it's going to be my birthday soon. Um, but yes, that is kind of the vibe for this week. And I thought I would take you along with me. It is now Monday. And when I tell you that I have so much admin to do, I'm not actually joking. I think actually... I've kind of let my admin build up on me so I do have an awful lot to get on with so my plan is to actually go to a cafe now and sit down and just blast through it all for the afternoon um so yeah let's get started there and then I will take you along for everything this week holds up towards the sky Wednesday forgive the fact that I'm sat on my bed my boyfriend's currently working from home so I have come into the bedroom to show you a very exciting parcel um I just want to show you a few bits that I've got but as you will have seen yesterday I actually had an 11 a.m vinyasa class so I taught that and then to be honest I was just um spending quite a bit of time filming I'm trying to get all of my classes filmed up till like the end of august beginning of september so we've got a lot of classes to film at the moment so i spent i think i got two classes filmed yesterday and then this morning i was i was actually meant to have a class this morning but it is dubai summer and it's incredibly quiet here so it got cancelled which actually i really don't mind because it meant that i could have a really productive morning i did some pilates as you will have seen i have also had to move my walks inside so i popped up to the gym and just did like 15 minutes of walking on the treadmill and then i needed to take little kitten mango to the vet so i did that and then i've actually been for lunch with a friend so quite a productive day it's now about two o'clock and i have come home to a very exciting parcel um so if you have if you saw yesterday i had a pair of leggings on and when i saw those i loved them like i was obsessed with them and then they arrived they're from beyond yoga and i don't know why i've never tried beyond yoga before because i know this is not sponsored at all by the way um but i know i've heard of the brand i know the brand but i just never tried it before um but i saw those leggings and they were just so cute so i loved them and honestly they were so comfy like the comfiest leggings they didn't slip down i just felt really just like happy and confident in them so to be honest the minute they arrived i ordered myself some new bits so i'm very excited i have been eagerly awaiting this parcel which i haven't actually opened the bits i have opened the box but i have i'm hoping you can see my address there you could so i will have to put that out but yes very excited about this so i thought i would it's not a particularly big haul but i thought i would show you some of the bits that i got there's actually a color in here now for those of you who um know me you will know that i tend to be more of a neutral girl but there was a color that i saw that i fell in love with but first things first i cannot wait to try this stuff on is i got the matching top to those leggings i was wearing yesterday feeling these straps i don't love them they're kind of like bra straps but the rest of the top looks very very cute um the back is also like a little bit of a low back i'm not sure about these straps though like it's fine i like the top but actually no they just mm, not sure about those straps anyway otherwise very very lovely i also got can't wait to try it on i also got a I've been looking for like a cute bandeau top for ages and I actually have one from Dove Avenue which I, I kind of hate it like I just find that like a white bandeau top is a staple right and I want one that is like full length not full length but like comes to the belly button kind of thing and I just found that that one 
because I, I do have some boob. It just like sits here and then it sort of like tense out, like it doesn't come under the boob. I hope that makes sense. Sorry, this might be TMI for some of you, but I just find that it sort of tense out and it just does not look flattering on me. I think if you were a little bit more flatter chested, it might do, but I prefer it to, like this top, I prefer it to kind of come in and be a little bit more form fit, fitting under the boob. Otherwise it just looks a bit, yeah, a bit tenty. It just wasn't super flattering. Um, and it also wasn't that comfortable to wear because there was just like no support whatsoever, which I don't need, but it's just kind of nice. So I wanted to try their bandeau top. So obviously you can't really tell much from it off, but what I do like is it has a built-in bra. I hope that's not gonna be, no, I don't think that'll be too big. Um, I got everything the size small but yeah I'm I'm excited about this I think this might be the first thing that I try on so those are the two sort of neutrally bits that I got I the leggings that I bought the other day are like the space dye crossover leggings and I love the material but to be honest there wasn't a whole bunch of like neutral colors that I would go to so I didn't actually buy any more neutral ones but I did buy this set which I used to be a colourful girl, then I've got a bit more neutral, but I don't know what it was about this colour, and I hope I'm not going to regret it, but I don't know, I just fell in love, so I thought I'd show you. I'm actually so excited about this set. It's so bright though, like that is basically neon. Am I regretting my decision? I don't think so. Like, look how cute those are, and they're so soft. Um, very similar to the aloe yoga aloes aloe soft material if any of you have tried them but they do they have a bit of a top band so i find that they don't slide down so i actually prefer these i do really love that color it's still like a it's still kind of pastel somehow very excited about those and then i actually got a matching top I might even wear this to my class to tomorrow the matching top is just this little halter top very excited about this oh my gosh i want to try it all on yeah it's this little halter top now none of the tops come with pads which i actually really like as well um so yes these are the little bits that i ordered i'm very excited about that outfit i think it's just like the perfect pop of color for summer but a little bit out unusual for me but actually i think it looks just a tad bit a little bit brighter on camera it is bright but there is a softness to it which is why i thought i would like it and honestly when the model was wearing it she was just glowing she looked so beautiful so i was like i need to try i feel like it, it's a glowy color so yes i might actually try on the bandeau now and then yeah we'll just see i'll i will definitely wear these before the week is up so when i try them on and when i'm wearing them i'll let you know what i think and keep you up to date with them please forgive the awkward angle we're in the process of doing some stuff to the house, so not many places are clean, but this is the bandeau top, and I love it. I think it is like the perfect bandeau top. Obviously, this isn't necessarily for practicing yoga in, but saying that, I feel like I could. I could definitely practice yoga in this, but I just wanted like a staple bandeau top that I could wear under things, and it's just perfect for summer, and it's actually like not pinching in at the top at all, which is the biggest thing for me. Um, I don't like when it pinches in at the top because then it just sort of looks not right. But this isn't pinching at all. It is so soft. I love the length. It is like my perfect length. These are probably the trousers I would wear it with sometimes as well. It's just perfect. Like, honestly, I think sometimes we underestimate how challenging it can be to just find a solid, perfect staple. And this is a solid, perfect staple. Like, this is just it's perfect i'll wear it for years to come it's such a staple it will come out all the time um so i actually really really love this and i'm very glad that i bought it i'm gonna try on the other bits but i might show them to you as of when i wear them this week because i think it'll look a bit nicer when it's styled up rather than with what i'm kind of wearing now um and it will be a slightly better angle than this but i just wanted to show you this now because i am so happy with it Good morning guys, happy Thursday, forgive the phone footage. It is now Thursday and I am off to my usual Thursday morning self-practice, which I am very excited about. I feel like prioritizing this class every week has just been so good for my practice, but also my soul. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I am wearing this very bright pink set, 
I just put it out of my comfort zone a lot there. I feel like when I was blonde, I loved wearing bright things like this, but I don't really know if it suits me with my hair a bit darker, but I love the color, so I don't even care. Um, and it's just so comfy. I'm very obsessed with this set. So let's go and enjoy the self practice. <laughs> Hello guys, I am back from my class. I actually stayed and did a little bit of editing and I just stayed and had a mattress and breakfast, which is lovely. That's kind of my Thursday routine. Um, I have now just come back. I want to show you this outfit a little bit more and just like talk you through it. So of course I love it. It's so soft. I think I said this is quite an out there color for me. Um, I used to be really into the brights and then I am such a neutral girl now, but this just spoke to my heart. And of course I am obsessed. I do absolutely love it. Guys, my camera died, but as I was saying, I think when it cut off, is I was talking about this top. And I, as I said, I love it. It is this really pretty, like, halter back. Honestly, this material is so soft. I'm gushing over it, but I feel like I've discovered a gem and I need to share it with you. However, this top does run big. I think because it's an American brand, um, American brands tend to run a little bit bigger. Leggings are true to size. So I think I said I'm in a size small in these. I'm super happy. That's my usual size. The top, I'm also in a small and it's too, a little bit too big, which is super unusual for me. If anything, sometimes I size up because I do have a chest. Um, so I would definitely say if you are not like a tall busty to size down in the tops. Because I just found during my class this morning that like, I don't know if you can sort of see, this just came a little bit like it would sort of loose like that and fold a little bit it was no biggie um and to be honest i actually prefer the comfy feel a little bit more so even if i were to choose again i don't know if i would size down to the extra small because i just love it being comfy and being able to wear it all day but um it i could have definitely worn the extra small it would have just been that little bit more supportive um and that's somewhat unusual for me usually i'm such a true size small in my tops so that's just something to keep in mind is that if you are slightly less i'm a d cut bear of mine so maybe feel less fussy than me size down in this unless you want a slightly looser comfy fit honestly i'm in love and then the leggings i don't know why i can't express to you guys like how much i'm loving them but they just don't slide down and i feel like you don't realize how valuable that is until you are wearing ones that don't slide down like every time i feel like i was in need to pull them up i didn't right like i'm so used to just like oh yeah pulling things up needing to but i actually didn't so i just really feel i don't know they're really <laughs> the leggings i had the other day and then these today i'm just like feeling first that i can really get into my practice and not worry about what i'm wearing which is so important but also that um i don't know i'm just feeling really confident and comfortable in them so very happy i'm sure you'll see me buying more bits from them again i feel like i'm gushing this is just so not sponsored but i will be adding my beyond yoga bits to i guess like my rotation so if you guys have been here before you will know that my favorite brands are indigo luna and amadaware and beyond yoga is now going to be going on there as well um so with that being said it is now i think it's almost lunchtime but i am going to pop up to the gym and do some steps just because i would usually go on a walk i can't go on a walk it's too hot here in dubai honestly it's awful outside at the moment so i'm just gonna head up and move a little bit just so i can take that off my list i then have a client at two o'clock for yoga business consultancy which I love. This is my like one-to-one -one offering where I will go through your yoga business. And this is for people who already have that yoga business up and running and it's going. And we will go through and work on certain areas that can be shifted and improved and really help to clear any blocks. And as always with me, it's a mixture of energetic work, but also that business work to work together just to create that really aligned yoga business. So I'm very excited for that. So with that being said, I best to get a move on. My plan is to make some greens, which we're gonna talk about them. I'm gonna go make them. We'll talk about them and then I will head up. I'm literally only gonna walk for about 15, 20 minutes, do some email admin as well. I did also edit a class earlier. So I'm doing okay on the work front for today. Hello guys. So as I said, I'm just gonna make my greens drink. I've started having this every day within the past few weeks. I don't know if I'd necessarily, necessarily recommend this one because it's very artificially sweet not my vibe i would much prefer 
I don't think it's too bad. Like I did my research on it, it's not too bad. It was just the easiest one for me to get here in Dubai. But next time I'll probably go for a different one because it is quite sweet. And I think there are some better ones out there. But I know that there's a little bit controversial with these, but I feel like I really see the difference with it. Um, just with like my digestion, my gut health, but also I feel like it just gives me a little bit more of a healthy boost. So I actually have been really enjoying this. I've been on a bit on a on a bit of a mission recently for balancing my hormones because I was suffering a little bit from like quite severe PMS. I know some people call it PMDD. Um, just having like months where my PMS symptoms were almost debilitating, like feeling so unbelievably low. And then that combined with actually moving through a bit of a lower, harder point within life has been so challenging. So I was like, right, I need to get a bit of a grip and see if I can figure out what's going on. Cause I feel like through yoga, I really look after my mind and my soul, but am I really looking after my body? Because obviously yoga is physical movement, which is so good for you. Um, but for me, obviously I teach, I am moving. I do move an awful lot, but when I'm not teaching, I'm editing and I'm sedentary. So I was like, okay, I think we need a little bit more, a little bit more love for my body. So that's why these walks are, I feel like they've been really, really helping bringing in that sort of, um, low impact movement. That's not stressful on the body. Um, but also taking little supplements. I also take like a collagen as well. I don't have any caffeine other than tea and matcha. I don't drink coffee. Um, and also I, I've already said this, but I cut out a little bit of dairy as well. So yeah, I just feel like we've really been in the process of needing to balance those hormones and see where it can take us. So I feel like this is the first month that I've had some progress, which is great because it has been a rough, rough ride. So I'm enjoying that. I'm feeling good about it. Let's head up for our movement. Good morning, guys. It is now Friday. So I think I left you yesterday. I had, I was actually just going on for my one-to-one -one business consultancy session. That went really, really well. I just, I really love my one-to-one -one clients. I just love being able to just pour all of the knowledge that I've learned, but all of the, just all of the love and intention into their businesses as well. And it just feels, feels so aligned. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, however, it's now Friday, as I said, and I have actually sat outside my hair salon. We're going for a little bit of a makeover today, which I'm quite excited about. I've got my nails booked in, I've got my like toes booked in. I've said before, pedicures are like number one self-care for yoga teachers. Um, but it's actually my birthday tomorrow. I've been very quiet on the birthday front because things have been so busy because we are moving. It feels very, very weird to say that because my plan is after I get my hair done to go and film that video, kind of talking through that. But things have been very, very busy because we are moving and it is just so much admin and my birthday's kind of come in the middle of it and to be honest like i don't feel very birthday -y. i feel quite like i'd rather it waited but saying that i did book this in quite a while ago because i was like you know what i'm gonna want my hair done um and i'm sure we'll do something relatively nice tomorrow so my plan is is we are officially saying goodbye to even the remnants of the blonde so if anyone has been here for a relatively long time, or if you followed me for a while on Instagram, you may remember that I used to be really, really blonde. And then I kind of let my roots grow out. I went a little bit darker, but I still have the blonde ends. I still even have them now. You can kind of see sort of sticking out here. Um, but I'm officially ready to say goodbye. Like I really want my hair to feel healthy. I also just really want it to feel like me. And I just find that, you know what? The blonde is not me. I don't want to have to I was actually what I was struggling with the most was the fact that the top of my hair was a different color to the bottom and it was looking it was a very drastic balayage and I was like well my option is to either dye the top a little bit more blonde to get things to match or go dark and I just really really want to go dark I don't want to dye my hair blonde I really am enjoying being in my like healthy hair era so with that being said, we are officially going dark and biting the bullet and I'm so excited. I feel like just a new era, new era, turning 26. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, let's get going, let's dive in. 
Hello guys, it's now much later. I feel like, sorry, Jake was watching me in Chelsea with his lunch. He's working from home, hence Mick on in the background. Um, but I feel like I look so different with my hair. I am absolutely in love with what we did. I feel like it looks so different, especially on camera. Somehow even more different on camera, but I'm obsessed. It just looks so much healthier. Um, I'm just in love and we've obviously just taken it back to my root color. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, the plan is for the afternoon. I have some filming to do mostly for YouTube. So I am filming a video to explain why are we moving from Dubai to kind of preempt some of those questions. I know there'll be a lot of questions on that, but I'm also filming a video about the yoga industry and just like talking about, or really honestly about what to expect within the yoga industry if you're wanting to maybe do this full time as a yoga teacher. So by the time this video goes live, at least one of those videos will be up. So I really recommend go and watch them, go and catch up with me there too. Um, but yeah, let's dive in and film those because they're the last things on my to-do list for today. I already incessed a little clip of the cats before this, but they are just sat on the sofa cuddling, which is just so cute. I love them, they're just so sweet. But yes, the hair is, it's looking good. Gosh, I should put you on key. called Bag of Reform. It's a um, Swedish cafe here in Dubai and it's just stunning. It's one of my favorite places and the pastries are just so good. So I had a very yummy birthday pastry. And then I, we actually potted around the mall. We live very close to the Dubai mall. So we just potted around, had a look at, I wasn't really going for anything in particular. It wasn't, I'm having a super low key birthday, as I said. So I wasn't looking for anything in particular, but I did actually find some really good finds, which I'm very excited about. So I thought I would show you. Um, the plan for the rest of the day is we're actually heading out to dinner later at our favorite restaurant. Hello. I don't know if you can, you can't see him. He's come to say hello. Um, but yes, we're headed out later to one of my favorite restaurants. Hello. Hi. You're right. Yeah. So I thought that I would show you some of the bits that I've got. The cats have decided to come and play on the bed. I'm just sat next to the bed. I'm actually about to practice some yoga before we go out. Um, but let me show you some of the bits I got. So the first bits that I found, these were literally just H&M, but I love them. I think they're just perfect with like a little summer dress and having just a staple pair. I wanted a very minimal pair of sandals that weren't like super strappy or glitzy um, and I just love these I think they're going to be really lovely with just like summer dresses and things like that so very easy find that I was very happy with the next bit that I got which were actually from Rituals which is a brand that I've actually worked with as a yoga teacher in the past I've taught a yoga event for them in the past um, but I just never really go in there and actually Jake loves it in there he always goes in there to get gifts for his family um, so we went in and they actually had a new skincare line and I'm obsessed. It's so lovely. It's so aesthetically pleasing. These are the two bits that I got. It's called the Ritual Namaste. So I don't really know what they're aiming for with the branding there, but I think it is just, they actually have a lot of yogic inspired lines, which I actually love about them because they're all clean and conscious. They're very, um, Kind of all natural is very much the vibe but also creating this ritual which is intentionality i guess so i do love it as a brand they also have a lot of um ayurvedic inspired scents and things like that as well so yeah i actually treated myself to this hyaluronic acid which again also very very affordable which i love um so that is just generally gen generally part of my skincare anyway but i thought i would try that one and then also this which is a bit different for me but this is a anti-aging serum so i have been using retinol recently which obviously is really really well known for um like firming the skin especially turning 26 i feel like it's time um but i was actually one of those people who was very open to Botox. I was always like, you know what? Like, yeah, eventually I just don't see why not. I probably would. And then recently I actually found out that the like ingredient in Botox is like one of the most poisonous substances on earth. 
like apparently if you were to actually ingest it it could kill you which the minute i heard that did not sit right with me because the fact that then we would inject that into our body like yes obviously it's not killing you but that can't be good for you i just and this is no hate to anyone who's very into it but for me personally that just does not sound particularly aligned um so i am very much on the retinol vibe and this was really interesting because this is a natural plant derived alternative to retinol so i'm quite excited to try this as well um excited about those bits the next little thing that i got is actually a dress that i had been eyeing up in anthropology since march of this year um anyone who knows anthropology it's not cheap um but it was actually in the sale today in my size so i have treated myself to it i think i'm gonna wear it for dinner tonight because it was just so pretty the colors are stunning very very excited about that um, and then the last little things these weren't actually at the mall I ordered these but they've all arrived on the same day if you can hear the cats they are just being fed their dinner <laughs> um but i found a few more beyond yoga bits now these are not actually from beyond yoga they're from a website like a uae website called sun sand and sport and they were all on sale so i wouldn't normally like add to my yoga collection so much within a week that sounds like it's been over the past two weeks but still um but they had this color which i've been eyeing up on back in stock notifications on the Beyond Yoga site. It's the chai color and it was over 50% off as well. I'm having a great time in the sales at the moment. Um, but if anyone else is UAE based, go and check it out because they have some lovely pieces on there. So this is just a little cami and then the chai color. I then got the matching leggings, which are also on sale. And then they have this really lovely little cream top. I feel like I definitely do have similar things to this in my wardrobe, but I loved it which looks like this the back is also just so pretty which i really really love um i did actually size down in this because i looked at the reviews on it and it everyone said it ran big so yeah just something to bear in mind with that as well so yes i am very very excited about it the plan now is to practice a little bit of yoga i'm going to pull some cards which is my birthday ritual i always sort of tune into the guidance for the next year and then we are headed out to dinner so I will kind of take you along.